Hi there everyone and welcome to my little scrappy part of the world I guess. Welcome to the channel. Today I've got a 12 by 12 layout and yes before you shoot me I do realize it is only October and yes that is a Christmas photo. In my defense it's a Christmas photo from last year. So I'm hoping to finish my 2015 December daily. I got all my stuff out this week so I could give it a good crack and get it done before it's time to do this year's December daily. Again in my defense every other year I finished it but last year I was waiting on a few certain pieces from a kit and they just didn't arrive and it, it didn't happen. Then I packed up my stuff and it didn't come back out. I'm determined to get it done before it's time for December daily this year and seeing as I just ordered my kit from Kitaholics for this year's December daily I thought it was about time I finished it so out come all my Christmas um, materials and in doing that I went through all the crisp all the photos from last year on my hard drive and found some photos I was going to use then I come across our traditional um, Christmas photo um, Santa photo that's not what I'm looking for and yeah, decided, oh, okay, I might scrap that. Now, what happened was there was a Kaiser Craft challenge. And they have a new, this month they have a, a Christmas range. A glisten is really gold, really pretty. So the challenge is like a bingo challenge. And you choose four elements, like vertical, horizontal, or whatever, through there. And so that's why I decided to do this photo, because it matched the criteria. Basically, I had the stuff out. I thought I'd give it a go. I had the photo so why not so that's what I'm doing all I've done so far while I've been rambling on is I've misted my background using the good old packaging technique and some gold Heidi shine and just whacking it on till I was happy with it I was going for a red and gold theme for this photo this is our as I was saying our Christmas photo from last year oh, I'll tell you what um, line I picked so you know what I'm doing on the bingo challenge I picked handwritten journaling border white background and collectibles that's it so that is why I'm focusing on this um, bottom corner here it's all collectibles from um, last year's Kazar range and also with the Kazar craft challenge oh my husband just sent me a message telling me he can hear me through the wall while well, it's just popped up on my screen in front of me while I'm filming this voiceover so I'm gonna go hit him when I'm done but it's just popped up telling me I can hear you I think it's funny so, thank you husband anyway I'm using the collectibles um, yeah as part of the challenge it was to use collectibles so this is from mistletoe kisses I think it was called and also the Kazar craft captured memories um, mini kit with um, the Kazar challenges you have to use 80% Kazar products on your layout so yeah that's what, and obviously the challenge specified the line I pick specifies collectibles so that's what I'm doing I'm using them to make a lovely cluster down here what was I saying before that I don't remember now but anyway okay let's just move on <laughs> I remember now I was telling you about the photo this is our our Santa photo now normally it's just the boys that get a Santa photo but this year was spent last year I should say this photo was special because my youngest asked Santa for a dog for Christmas and lo and behold when we went for our Santa photo Santa had his very own puppy there waiting for him it was absolutely amazing so we were all in the photo as our family photo and yeah um, including Sam our puppy this was when he was 12 weeks old he's, he's a bullfed now he's huge but he was at some stage a little puppy and so this was our Christmas photo all five of us including Sam and yeah Santa giving the boys their very first puppy just like they asked for Christmas so that's, this is a special Santa photo for us and um, that's part of my handwritten journaling that's what I put down that our special visit to Santa came <laughs> with a puppy so I've stuck down my collectibles and the lovely little Santa hat up the other end was just to balance it out so it's not all just heavy on one side and I just think it looked cute and now I'm going to work on my border my border is nice and simple, just a good old hand-drawn straight border like I do on most of my white background layouts. And then you'll see me stop for a few minutes and I think I might even do the thinking hands 
and then I decide because it just looks really clean and crisp it's the most perfect border I've ever drawn normally they go skew if everywhere and I was contemplating doing double lined because I know that's when it would go a little bit over the place and I decided to go with it it was too clean for my liking it didn't suit the the mess of the mixed media so do double lines and then just some fake stitched crosses top and bottom just to give it another little textured element. I like doing that now and then, especially on my hand drawn board. It just gives it a little something more. Onto my title. Now I love these stickers. These are my one of my favourites. They're nice and thin so you can fit in decent words and they're just they're gold glitter. How can you not love them? I go nice and simple with my title. I write Hi Santa. Could have been much more adventurous, but I wasn't in the mood for it. And I decided to put it um above the cluster of collectibles there originally I also wanted to put my journaling here too so I put the title up a bit higher but now bear with me I hope this makes sense the reason I didn't like it I didn't like that the high was above the photo I thought that it just sort of drew your eye too far up so I wanted to keep it contained so I decided to move where I was gonna put my hand my my journaling and then put my photo above the collectibles but still in line with the put my title sorry above the collectibles but so it's still in line with the photo so it's not going up and out just to keep it all contained and in the middle so in the end I'm happy with that it does say hi Santa on my little screen it doesn't look like it but I swear it does hopefully on your screen it's a bit bigger and now I'm going to do my journaling my favorite ways to do handwritten journaling on my layout is strip journaling I cut off a strip of paper write on it and then attach it to my layout and that's exactly what I do. Sometimes I'll type it up with my typewriter font on my computer and then stick it down. But I also like to include my handwriting. It's something I've learned over the last year that, you know, my kids will like that in the future. Trust me. <laughs> Always include handwritten journaling. Um, it's good to have a piece of you in your album and on your page. So whether it be your messy handwriting, trust me, it doesn't get any worse than mine. But it's a good to have that personal little element as well. Keep that in mind for the future. If you don't, if you don't handwrite your journaling, even not all of it, just a bit of it every now and then, keep it in mind for something you might want to try in the future. Trust me. So, just attaching my strip journaling. And then I'm going to get these really tiny, tiny stars that are on my desk because I've gone through my tub of Christmas embellishments and Christmas basically I keep all my Christmas materials together they were in my Rascog cart but I've turned that into my mixed media tray so now they're in a tub and when it's time to bring it all out to get ready to scrapbook Christmas it all comes out and I set it all out nice and neat so as I was going through this tub this week I found some really cool things to play with including these tiny heart um, stars incredibly tiny stars so I use them as a small embellishment and I'm talking really so here they are I don't even remember where I got them. I think it might have been Big W or something. Who? No, I can't remember, honestly. But yeah, they work as a tiny little bit of bling. And then I add some um, real bling, some clear bling, into a few places just as um, to finish off my little clusters. And that's my layout done. Now, this was a very quick layout. It took me 20 minutes total in real time. That included um, making the mess of the background and... Um, going searching through my thickers for something I liked and all my stuff so it didn't take long at all it comes together very quickly and I'm very happy with this layout I really do enjoy scrapping um, Christmas layouts and now that I've got all my stuff out and I have started you'll probably see unfortunately more of that I am going to get my December daily done oh I have, I've never done a video of my December daily that might be something to look forward to but yeah so all my Christmas stuff's out now so I think I might make use of it Especially leading up to, because you know October is going to be over before you know it, and then November's going to fly, and it's going to be December, my favourite time of the year. So keep an eye out for all these soon-to-come Christmassy layouts. <laughs> if you're not a Christmas person, I apologise, but yeah. So stick with it, and yeah, bear with me and my disgustingly Christmas spirit, and I'll see you soon for more videos. Bye.